Okay, you ready? You hold on to the camera. And then you just gotta look at me when I'm talking, okay? Okay. On my face. You just have to sit down. I have to sit down? Yeah. <laughs> okay, you can come a little closer. So they can hear me. I look right. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna catch a mole. I got a five year old. Look up a little. I got a five year old doing the camera work. This may or may not work. <laughs> okay. I have a mole here. Um, usually, I'm gonna stand up for a minute. Um, I don't have a very good uh, sample of activity. Usually you'll have a bunch of molehills everywhere. I only have these couple ones to work from. Um, the best place to set a trap is if you have a lot of hills in one place, and then you have like a couple of hills here and there, and then a bunch of other hills. You yeah. want to hit the couple, not where there's mm -hmm. a lot. Where there's a lot of hills is a feeding ground. Mm -hmm. So they're just moving through there, picking up all the food. And moles have a super high metabolism. They have to eat a lot of food. Um, so they might never visit those tunnels again. Um, you want to find the main tunnels. So you'll have like a bunch of activity here, a bunch of activity here, then like one, two, or three in the middle. You want to aim for those yeah. middle ones. Mm -hmm. so those are going to be the main tunnels going back and forth from the feeding ground. I only have this one, so this is the one I'll work with. So we'll just move this. I have your basic scissor trap. This is the mm -hmm. kind you're going to need, along with these two setting tools. I use the tools to poke around and find the hole. I'm a little closer now. Okay. You want to look down at the hole here? I'm going to come right over here and then look down into the hole. I'm doing it with the radio camera. Yeah. So right now the tunnel is going this way and this way. So it's coming straight through. So that's a, this is going to be a good place to set because there's just two tunnels and they're going pretty straight. You don't want to dig your hole too big. <laughs> just about as big as the trap. I just like to use the trap before it's set to kind of open it up and then get all that dirt out. Try to definitely get any rocks out. Rocks are going to mess it up. <laughs> all right. You're going to get all that grass as a hole, too. Yeah. So that's pretty good. I'll go ahead and set my trap. How you set them, it's pretty easy. You want to make sure that this bar is over the top. And then put the curved part on the spring and lift it up. And the same one with this one. And then you can open the trap up. Now this trap, it's, I mean, it's slightly dangerous. Um, there's a lot of states, this being one of them, where you have initiative 713, where this trap is, it's not illegal, but it's sort of in a gray area. Um, you can't really sell them. Yeah, it can make the moles dead. But it's, it, yeah, they considered the trap to be inhumane. Um, I don't see how it's inhumane. It's like a rat trap. Um, when this mole comes through here, I'll take this stick and hits this trap. <laughs> and then it breaks, and then it just breaks the stick. It, well, yeah, it breaks the stick. It could maybe take a finger off. Um, it's gonna hurt, but it kills the mole instantly. Look up, look up a little. It kills the mole instantly. I mean, it, it snaps the spinal cord. So the mole's dead before it even knows it has an accident. Any other mole trap you try to use is just gonna create agony for the mole. Because moles, they have to keep moving, they have to keep eating. They can starve to death in a matter of hours. So if you just trap them, they're just going to die. Mm -hmm. So this, this is the best way to do it, and this trap is the most effective. Yeah, it's really dangerous. And it's buried places. under the ground. Um, the way they got the law passed was Extranges. they were showing pictures of cats and dogs with these traps on their paws or whatever. But it's, it's actually, and I'll show you once it's in the ground, it's actually very, very hard to get hit by one of these traps if you know what you're doing. Well, there's a safety on the top. All you gotta do is flip that over, and now it cannot, it will not go off. It will just catch, and it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's very easy. Always it, make sure that this bar is on top. It's very dangerous for a kid's hands. It, it can really make kids' hands come off. Yeah, it can make kids' hands come off. Don't let your kids use it. Okay, and then how, I don't know if we saw this, how you just set 
this, this bar that you flipped over the top, just sits nice in here. And you just hold these together and then slowly let go. And that holds itself, it's just like a rat trap. So this plate is the trigger plate. So now we do this, always set the safety while you're messing with it. And of course, mine You can't me mess with it or it might just skate your finger. It might. Um, when you're messing with it and putting it in the trap, it's bound to go off once or twice, you know, while you're messing with it. It's just going to scare the heck out of you and the bar will flip over the top and it might hit the back of your hand. I've had that happen a lot, but otherwise it's not going to hurt you. So right now I have it set and I just want to put it in the hole I can and work kill, it in there. It can kill kids if it's right onto the neck. <laughs> okay. And so the mole, you know, basically I and want the mole the to go right too. to the jaws. So th this is pretty perfect. Then. The two holes are coming through. Hold on a sec. Should I lift the camera up? A little bit. Okay. Um, but, okay. So now that we have it set like this, this is basically how we're going to want it set. Um, the only thing is when the mole is coming through here, we're going to want it to hit this plate. And so if you have a small mole, it could go right underneath the trigger plate without ever hitting it. So what we do to make sure we're going to get a catch. We want big fat moles. We want big fat moles. Is we make what I what we call a bridge. And basically we're going to cut this mole hill. Go ahead and look down here. Or the mole tunnel right in half. So the mole tunnel is coming this way and this way. So when our mole is coming through here, it's going to have to dig its way through this little bridge. And resting right on top of the bridge is the trigger plate. Um, if you have really soft dirt, you can use like a metal tin can or a small rock to place right underneath the trigger plate. You can kind of bend the plate a little bit if you need to mess with it. And so you just want it sitting right on top, just real light. So the mole is going to come through, start burrowing through our tunnel. Boom, it's going to snap the trap and bam, you're going to snap it right behind the head, which is right where you want to get it. You want to make sure that this area where the traps are going to be coming together is nice and clear, no rocks. Um, it's one of the worst feelings ever when you catch a rock instead of a mole. <laughs> just make sure it's nice and dirt, just dirt. And then set this in here as best you can so the mole is going to be in between the jaws. Make sure the trigger plate is resting right on top of the dirt. That's hard to see, huh? Okay, here, keep holding it. You're doing good, buddy. I appreciate this. <laughs> Okay, so now that we have this like this, we're just gonna take loose dirt and try then, to fill this back in. Cause we don't want the mole to know we've been here. Just make it look natural. We don't want any open exposed air. Moles don't like air. We like to stay underground. So if they're coming through here and there's just a big massive hole, they're just gonna turn around and leave. So you fill that in, move the grass back. Um, basically we wanna fill it up, up to the spring. Okay. And fill the hole up, yes. Um. We got a pretty, we got a... <laughs> we got a what? What? We got five kind that of wood. That not good. Um, we have five wood in our, in our... We have five wood? And... Oops. Oof. In our fireplace. <sighs> oh, in the fire pit? Mm-hmm. Okay. Here, look up. You're looking, you're just looking down at nothing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're just going to fill it in. And cover it up, like I said, up to the spring. You want to try to make it as flat as possible. I don't have the best stuff here. <clears throat> but just, just like that. And just trying to make sure no light, you know, and surface air, breeze, stuff like that is going to get through. And then just leave it. And then be sure, before you leave it, to take the safety back off. Because that's something else you don't want. But you want rocks around the fire pit so it doesn't spread yes, around and fire pit. It touch. Here, look down at this. Yeah. Okay, so this is that this is how helps. it should look when it's set. Nothing but this is above ground. And then you can see how hard it is to actually hurt yourself. Because if I push down on this at all, just a little bit, it's going to set the trap off. And that's a good way to do it. If you come out here a few days, you haven't caught anything, you just step on it and it's going to set it off and then you can just pull it out of the ground. The way you're going to know it's set off is these two bars are together now and then, you know, if this thing was flipping up, these two bars are going to be apart. So if you come outside watch, and then these two bars are apart, you know you got something or at least the trap is set off. Pull it straight out of the ground, hopefully you have a mole sticking out of it. Um, if you do have dogs and you have to set this in a dog yard, just put a flower pot over it with a big rock. 
you know, mm -hmm. it'll keep things from messing with it. But otherwise, you can just leave it like that. Maybe mark it with a flag if you have people over, so you can tell people stay away from my mole trap. Um, and then just hopefully you catch it. Don't move your mole trap around too much. I leave it in one spot for maybe a week. If you don't catch it, then move it. And always stick with the newest activity. So every day you come out, stomp down all the mole hills you see, just put a big footprint in them. And then next day you can come out and you'll know where the new ones are. That way you can always stick with the newest activity. We um, want if some... you move, hold on, hold on. If you move the traps around too much, you're just gonna freak the mole out and he's just gonna stay away from it. So, you know, he might come through here, realize something's a little weird and you know might might leave it alone but if, if it just stays like that for a few days he's gonna get comfortable with it he'll come through and snap but it's gonna take a little while uh, but that's it mole trap you set it you just sit there and uh we'll let that sit there and we'll see if we can get a mole then trevor you did a great job for camera work for your first day <laughs> i think then? we'll have to see it later Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Watch out for the trap. We don't want to step on it. Yeah. Never forget your setting tools because without these, it's a real pain to set them. And you only get two per trap. Yeah. And these traps cost about 10 to 15 bucks each. Yeah. Yes. I mean, we want it to stick out a little so we know where it is. That's right. So we want to remember that that's there and we don't want to step on it. Here, we'll put your, uh, we'll put your thing over it. There we go. People don't know our mole traps there. Yep, so people don't know. And here's another mole, another hill, so we'll just stomp that down. So we know most of my mole activity is in the backyard, but that's where the dogs are, so they like to dig lots of holes and they're chasing it. Alright, so that's Done. how to set a mole trap. Hopefully I remembered everything. Done. If not, I'll edit I, it in later. Done. I think a mole kind of dig this to that and then just come right out and then just come right in. Do you know how fast a mole can go? A mole can go through undug, undug sod um, at about a foot a minute. Worms can eat the, um, eat the dirt that way they can figure out and the mole, way out. Yeah and moles eat, moles love worms. That's one of their biggest food. They just make these massive tunnels underneath your yard and then they just cruise through the tunnels and pick up worms and beetles that have fallen into it. Yeah, but worms and beetles are not falling to the ground. Or, or it'd just be gross to eat the worms. Yeah. Don't forget that. And the <laughs> rocks right around our fire pit so the fire doesn't Ugh. touch our house. And our house will be on, and then okay, our house is... will be on fire. Yep. Good job. All right, so we'll wait a little bit. We'll see if we caught that mole. And uh, and yeah, thanks for watching. Then comment, like, subscribe. What you know the biz. Okay. And we'll leave you with one more piece of advice and little whatever. Then what? Um, why why did we just put those away? Uh, just... That was a question, not a pearl of wisdom. <laughs> Give me a pearl of wisdom. Say something smart. <laughs> <laughs> How do you get okay. My because we went and saw the monster trucks. How do you get my pocket? You put okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, love you, Trevor. I said I love you. I love you. How much? Bunches. Bunches. I love you. Bunches. Bunches controller. Bunches. Con yeah, he likes to follow it up with random words. Okay. All right. There we go. Mole trap setting. One oh one. Done. Casca.